Good morning viewers, my name is Paul Gap Amea and we continue with our discussions for about the revelation for the kingdom of God to come on earth as prophesied by Jesus Christ uh, in Matthew 6 verse 10. The kingdom come, it shall be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. Now the topic today, our topic today is the message to the World Council of Churches the message, the divine message to the World Council of Churches. The task, the divine task for the World Council of Churches is as follows. Teach the society, organize earth, teach the congregations or the member organizations to the World Council of Churches, to teach their members, their congregations and organize the, so that they are able to organize the society in order to dismantle and ban all the institutions of the weapons of bloodshed. All the institutions on earth that apply the weapons of bloodshed must be dismantled. The military institutions must be dismantled, meaning work hard right now to set earth free from any form of the weapons of war. Dismantle militarism, dismantle military institutions. This is necessary, is vital in order to pave the way for the kingdom of God to come on earth. So, so that it's necessary to teach the society so that men will rule earth by applying only the weapons of divine power. Teach the society, civilize the society in order to start with the process, with the divine process of the transformation of all political military governments into heavenly derived ruling entities, those who rule earth with, with the weapons of divine powers only. The time has come for the fulfillment of the scripture. The time has come for the fulfillment of the scripture. What scripture? Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. And I quote, their kingdom come, they shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, behold, the kingdom cannot come, the kingdom of God cannot prevail on earth, cannot come if there is another kingdom that apply the weapons of bloodshed to rule earth. First is to eliminate all the kingdoms of Lucifer. We, we, do not feel be offended by saying that all the governments that rule earth in accordance with the will of Lucifer, any government that apply the weapons of bloodshed is a follower of Cain who killed his brother in order to advance his objectives, greatness and so on. It is Cain who was first deceived by Lucifer to kill his brother Abel in order to attain his, his position of dominance. So, all governments, those are applying the weapons of bloodshed. These governments should be transformed into these governments, the time is over. The time to rule earth with the weapons of bloodshed is over. It is now the time of the new generation, the time of the new biblical or Quran generation for the generation that will rule earth with the weapons of divine powers only. The Bible itself is clear on that, that the weapon that we use are not that one against the flesh, but the weapons of divine powers. It's clear there 
teach the people to understand what is the weapons of divine power and how the society can apply that. Having said that, the World Council of Churches, this is the council is the world body, is the world or umbrella body that is composed of the composition of that of the World Council of Churches is 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 of that of the institutions that are the custodians of the weapons of divine power. The custodians of the weapons of divine power, in this case, they are the one to replace political parties in ruling air, as they are the one, those are divinely competent to apply the weapons of divine powers only to rule air. Politics on its own becomes a gang of criminals. Remember, politics, I should, I should clear myself in this case, politics is wisdom. Politics is born out of the word or the term or the word of God. It's born out of the word of God, which means rule. And then politics is just wisdom, which is can be explained as the defined as the art of society administration. It's wisdom. But now that art of society administra uh, administration cannot be left scot-free and do what each they want, and in this case politicians, whatever they want to rule earth. To the extent now that the situation is out of hand, they are now applying the weapons of bloodshed in order to attain their political power or to maintain their authority. This is not godly. So the time has come now, it's a long time ago, especially when it comes to Christians' world, since they have been, we were taught by Jesus Christ to pray for the kingdom of God to come. This is now question to the World Council of Churches. Denominations, different denominations that are members to the World Council of Churches. Your members, have you been praying for the kingdom of God to come as taught by Jesus Christ? If yes, the answer is now, has come, is right, right now, the revelation for the kingdom of God to come on earth. The revelation for the kingdom of God to come on earth, that is the revelation through Polygraph Amea, the one who is talking to you now here, the revelation for the third testament of the Holy Bible, the third testament of the Holy Bible, the revelation for the third testament of the Holy Bible, is for what? Is for heaven on earth. I think there have been various, you know, prophecies there by different people. A revelation, speaking about the revelation for the third testament of the Holy Bible, the World Council of Churches should understand that, yes, it is true. That revelation is godly. The revelation for the third testament is godly. So the third testament is therefore to guide people to teach people the word of God that is good news, that is the gospel for heaven on earth, for the attainment, for the realization of the, for the manifestation of the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven as prophesied by Jesus Christ. Now, the Muslim world or the Islamic religion they should not be, they should not feel being left out or sidelined or ignored. No. I'm calling also upon the Muslim world. All Muslim believers, they should understand that the time is now, the time has come for the scripture in the Holy Quran to be fulfilled. And I read here, what is that scripture in the Holy Quran? I'm a Christian, but I'm now also talking to the Muslim based on the Holy Scripture, the scripture in, 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 in of the Holy Quran. That scripture said, this is the Holy, the Holy Quran. Islam, they said, Surat al 
full gun chapter 25 verse 63 i quote and i quote the servants of the beneficent god are those who walk gently on earth and when addressed by the ignorant ones their only response is peace be with you meaning these are the meek that was mentioned by jesus christ in the second testament of the holy bible in matthew chapter 5 verse 5 when jesus said blessed are the meek as they will inherit earth they shall inherit earth it's the same statement here is the same prophetic statement here within the holy clan the 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 the, the surat al fugan chapter 25 verse 63 this is truly the word of god written in the quran now muslim world and the christian world they should unite here based on these godly scriptures based on these scriptures of the word of god these are necessary the 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 unification of these believers in the Christian world and in the Muslim world is necessary for eternal peace on earth. Yes? Now, there come also the other believers like the, they said, the sacred text, the Judaism. In the Judaism, you read the word, the, 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 in the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 4. And I quote, these are not Judaism religion. What do they say about peace? They beat their swords into prone shears and their spears into prone hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war no more. What is this now? This is Judaism. This is the word of God. I'm a Christian, but this is the word of God in the Judaism uh, religion. So Judaism, the sacred text, and then Holy Quran, which is the Isla Islam, in the book of uh, Zurad al Fugan, chapter 25-63, and then you have again in, 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 in the biblical, which is my religion, the Christian world. We said that the meek, blessed are the meek, they shall inherit earth. And then, whereby they said, Jesus said that, now wait for the kingdom of God to come. Now, why don't we base, let's now the World Council of Churches base ourselves on these scriptures in Judaism, in the Holy Bible, in Isla Islamism or Muslim in the Holy Quran, these are the words of God talking about eternal peace, prophesizing eternal peace on earth. We, there is no difference here. So that I'm now calling up the World Council of Churches as well as the Muslim world to base themselves on this, to base ourselves, all believers, those who believe in God and believe in eternal peace, to base ourselves on these holy scriptures and teach our followers, teach the members of our congregations. We should come up with specific, you know, ecumenical studies that are aimed at civilizing the society, teaching the word of God for the attainment of eternal peace on earth. And the target in this case is to dismantle all institutions of war, all institutions of militarism, all institutions that are there you now using the weapons of bloodshed. Ban all the weapons of bloodshed. Now, do we have really the ability to do so? Here we talk about the World Council of Churches, for example, of which I have some records here. This may be uh, outdated but it was in 2014, the year 2014. The World Council of Churches claimed 
the composition of the composition that consists about 349 religious organizations or Christian organizations. 349 across the group. They claimed about 520,000 local congregations, local congregations of different Christian denominations in 100 and what? In 100, about in 150 countries across the globe. Huh? More than more than or about 520,000 local churches, local congregations in different 150 countries worldwide. And the, the, there is a record that they count about 493 pastors and priests plus elders, teachers, and members of the parish councils. Now, are this not enough forces to mobilize the society globally for, in order for the transformation of the political military governments into a heavily derived into heavily derived ruling entities that will only apply the weapons of divine powers only to rule earth? Is that not, is, are these forces not enough once well guided with the word of God to set earth free from the dirtiness of the weapons of bloodshed? They're capable. Now what is, what is the problem right now? The problem right now is because they do not adhere to the spirit. They are not, they are not filled with the spirit of meekness. They are not filled with the spirit of meekness. So that they will only be able to say, for example, peace be with you, like the Holy Quran, the scriptures of the Holy Quran prophesies in the scriptures of the of the of the holy bible matthew chapter 5 verse 5 prophesies instead of that they are now christians they feel as of now a christian family feel that is a blessing to the family when one of their child or family member is prom promoted to become a a, a brigadier general <laughs> brigadier general to do what to command others to kill but because of money coming into the family through that hand reddish of human blood now the money comes to the family then with the hands of the brigadier general the military commander is, is dirty of human blood bring money into the family for survival there is a, is a blessing to the family because my child is promoted now to a higher uh, you know military rank for how long earth continue uh, you know witnessing this the society continue, you know, accommodating this type of uh, of uh, killing institutions. You are a Christian, but when promoted to the military rank to kill, to command and kill, to you is a blessing. Now, what a contradiction! Five for the dismantling, fight for the kingdom of God to come on earth. And the first step as of now, mobilize, civilize 
teach the society to ban all institutions of militarism. Clear earth from all the deadness, from the deadness of all weapons of bloodshed. A weapon that should be there should be an instrument for hunting only, for example. Not an instrument, not, not a weapon of not not weapon of war. The World Council of Churches, what, what are you doing there? What are you doing? You only say we are there providing uh, 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 guiding people, you know, serving them with the ecumenical studies, teaching them the word of God for them to earn eternal life so that they 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 earn you know for them to be saved to earn eternal life so that when they die they go to heaven hey listen to this the world council of churches listen to this if you are christians jesus said you are saved already the fact that you believe you are already saved you are already part of eternal life you are already in heaven alive on earth you are given authority back to rule earth that's why jesus said now fight for the kingdom of god to come on earth teach people to fight for the kingdom of god to come on earth teach the people to act now because faith without action is dead Teach people to act right now, to act divinely, not aggressively, not militarily. Do not, you know, act in the manner that you find yourself making a mistake like Peter, who pulled out his sword and cut off the ear of one of the soldiers who were striking Jesus. And Jesus said, no, 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 it's not being done that way. Just apply the weapons of divine power to transform, to dismantle all the institutions of militarism, to burn all the weapons of bloodshed. That doing that, you are paving the way for the kingdom of God to come on earth. Teach people skills on how to apply the weapons of divine powers only to settle differences in the society in order to attain and maintain eternal peace on earth the time is now the third testament which is a revelation through Paul Kapamea the one who is speaking to you now the church council the world council of churches this is Paul Kapamea speaking to you now revelation for the third testament which is good news good gospel good news the word of God for heaven on earth, for the fulfillment of the scripture. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Their kingdom come, they shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Stop. Stop your child from participating in institutions of militarism. I'm now calling all Christians through and appealing because well it's in heaven we have the right to choose the world council of churches choose to stop your children as Christians from participating in militarism militarism continue because your kids they are the ones who are being used by those who are already deceived by the devil to shoot and kill and your kids are being conscripted, picked up then, you know, and put in those camps and trained to shoot and kill. And then when your child is promoted to the hair military rank you said is a prob is, is, is a blessing to the side a blessing when your child is given a gun to go and shoot and kill 
and you say it's a blessing because there is money coming through that to the family and then it's a blessing no understand that you're supposed not to kill as a Christian. Killing is not the solution. The solution is application of the weapons of divine power. We should now learn, teach people on how to apply the weapons of divine power. The applications of the weapons of divine power in settling differences in the society is the one that will guarantee the lasting peace, the eternal peace on earth. Christians, you are given authority to do what? All authority is given to you. To do what? To rule earth. Are you given authority to rule earth with the weapons of bloodshed? The answer is no. Use the weapons of divine power. So, it's the time now to dismantle all the institutions of bloodshed, all the institutions of militarism, all the institutions that people are armed with weapons of bloodshed, no matter what. A police, a soldier, a security guard, a what? It is not allowed in terms of the word of God doesn't allow that. The word of God say, apply the weapons of divine power, not the weapons of bloodshed. The devil is the one who deceived us to use the weapons of bloodshed and kill each other like that, locally and internationally. We have United Nations peace making forces. The K weapon. Is that okay in the eyes of God? Not yet. Not yet. Men should learn to speak with one voice, one word, and then the problem is solved. Speak. The word of God and the problem is solved. Then is when we'll be able now to say, once you do that, then that means the realization, the manifestation of heaven and earth. Place a statement, a godly statement, and the job is done. I will explain to you about what is that, how will be the how does the, the, the kingdom of God look like? Because people have a lot of questions about that. But please, before that, the thing is that the task, the message to the World Council of Church is that start mobilizing air, start mobilizing the society to dismantle all the weapons of bloodshed. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. The way we have been doing it in convincing conflicting parts to lay down their weapons of bloodshed and adhere to the United Nations peace process. For example, myself, I'm a Namibian. I learned from what happened when South Africa, South African forces and the uh, Swapo liberation movement uh, you know, the People Liberation Army of Namibia plan. And I was part of that. I was a tactical instructor of the People Liberation Army of Namibia. We were, when the time came of God's you know, will for the application of the weapons of divine power, all of us, even we were, even myself, we were saying that only through the barrel of the gun that Namibia shall be free. It's not true. The wonders of God worked out. People started praying here in Namibia, especially the, the, the Council of Churches in Namibia, CCN. They, they, they pray, pray, and pray, pray, and then the time came for the applications of divine power 
and all of us just one word hey you south african forces you swap forces lay down your weapons it's time for peace mobilize yourself to the concentration camps is for the it's time now for peace the applications of the united nations resolution 435 for the independence of namibia those are the weapons of divine power i'm talking about with regard to the peaceful administration of air we were taught just like that divine power caught us and everybody lay down we lay down our weapons and we mobilize ourselves and out of that namibia is free these are the weapons of divine power that i'm now telling the world council of churches to teach the world that dismantle to dismantle all the weapons of bloodshed the weapons of divine power it's true is applied in namibia during the applications during the implementations of resolution 435 for the independence of namibia and it 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 it, it really works so it cannot only work for namibia and it cannot only work for namibia for that moment because for the peace process but should also work for namibia forever and should work for the whole world earth forever dismantle all the institutions of bloodshed dismantle all the institutions of of war teach the society to apply the weapons of divine powers only to rule earth then you see that surely the kingdom of god has come having said that i retaliate my message to the world council of churches to start teaching the christian congregations worldwide to share this knowledge that the time has come for the kingdom of god to come on earth and the starting point in paving the way towards that is the dismantling of all weapons of bloodshed dismantling of all institutions of the weapons of bloodshed and teaching the world for the applications of the weapons of divine powers only this will culminate into the transformation of the political military governments prepare these conditions endeavor this civilization for the transformation of political military governments into would be heavenly derived learning entities that will apply the weapons of divine powers only to rule earth that is the that is what we mean by the kingdom of god will come on on earth it shall be done in heaven it shall be done on earth as it is in heaven and this is what Jesus had been prophesizing, pray now for the kingdom of God to come. This is the time now. One may ask, is that possible? Yes, it's possible. It happened in my own country for a very short period called the implementation of resolution 435. Then when the country got its independence, we went back to our militarism instead of continuing with this one we we took it as a as a meta as a manifestation of a of a, a short period only then i realized that no it's not for that it's supposed to be forever this mantle all middle institutions tell christian families to stop sending their children for military conscription stop doing that do something else if it's for survival apart from military institutions that is not cowardness that is divinity and unite the christian forces globally with the islamic forces based on the 
scriptures biblical scriptures based on the biblical scriptures and the scriptures of the holy quran that are a prophecy for eternal peace on earth like the one i mentioned here uh, the the, sub, the, 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 the the one i mentioned here in the holy holy quran the islam the surat al furgan chapter 25 verse 63 and they say the servants of the beneficent god are those who walk gently on earth and when addressed by the ignorant ones their only response is peace be with you and this is what also jesus said in matthew in, in the holy bible in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 5 when he said the meek blessed are the meek as they will inherit earth is the same thing thank you very much have a good day enjoy the next presentation on our civilization uh, for paving you know in, in paving the way for the kingdom of god of god to come on earth or it shall be done here on earth as it is in heaven this was the message to the world council of churches pick up this video and give it to them those who may have access to them thank you very much god bless you